With the collapse of the lumber industry and the 2001 closure of an aluminum smelting plant, Clickdack County has been searching for an industry to call its own. Today, with a population of just around 3,000 residents, the small Columbia Gorge towns of Bingen and White Salmon, Washington, is home to the unmanned aerial vehicle industry, employing nearly 1,000 workers. In 2017, the South Central Workforce Development Council partnered with the region's unmanned aerial vehicle industry, Clark College Economic and Community Development, the Clickdack County Economic Development Department, and area school districts to launch the State of Washington's Upskill Backfill Initiative with the goal to upskill current employees and backfill positions with new hires. The upskill component of the initiative implemented training to assist in promoting the industry's current talent, preparing those currently employed for leadership positions through trainings that include supervisory skills and trade skill certifications. Through new hires from the local labor pool, the backfill component focuses on trade skill training and how to work within a team, as well as preparing new employees to backfill positions vacated by those promoted into leadership positions. It's expensive to hire new workers. It is uh, time consuming to go out and go on talent searches for capable workers. This allows the companies to pick up workers from their backyard, train them and shape them in the image of the company, and to really get the best worker that they possibly can. It's really important, especially in small rural towns, to be able to grow your employees and local labor pools. It's really the only way to do it. Important to the employee, it builds morale, it builds confidence. Um, it shows the employees that we as the employer value them. On the employer side, it provides me with skilled, job-ready employees and employees that are ready for promotion. Turnover is very costly when you're having to hire new people all the time. Um, we are a growing company as well, so as we grow and develop, we can grow and develop our employees with us. We are getting new customers all the time that are asking us to do different kinds of work. So um, giving our employees the skills to meet our customers' needs is incredibly valuable for the company. As workers upskilled into higher wage positions, greater economic opportunity materialized positively impacting families and the community. It gave me the ammo I needed to climb the ladder that I've wanted to. My family supports it. Uh, everyone's very happy. Economically, it makes a difference, of course, in my bottom line. And uh, I'm really excited to bring what I've learned to the table for the company. And i able to support with my family and financially, i able to, um, I'm taking pride of this. i able to uh, um, build a house for my parents in the Philippines and send my, you know, my siblings in college. And it's, it's a really good, uh, this is a really good opportunity for me to be able to, to help out. Employees did not have to sacrifice work-life balance as training occurred at their workplace, enabling participants to avoid long commutes with a customized training. The training was made very easy because of how close it was to our uh, facility. You know, we only had to travel about a mile to get down to the, the site where the training was held, so it really didn't impact our day-to-day -day life. This initiative fit into my day-to-day -day life um, very easily. It was nice to be able to come to work and be able to take these classes during work hours and have the support of my company and coworkers to be able to grow in skills. Um, I have currently had a new transition into a management role and taking these classes has really helped with, um, with my leadership skills, being able to communicate better, uh, being able to encourage employees and build SMART goals. It's really been a, a benefit and I was able to apply it right away. Um, right when I walked back into work from class, I was very excited to get going on some of the new skills that I learned. Yes, you know, it the training has benefited me, I, I can tell. My supervisors have told me that it has benefited me and it makes me feel really great that 
my company is willing to put us through training. Um, we're, we're probably seeing the, the steepest change um, that we've ever seen in the skills that employees need. By investing in their employees' skill sets, most companies are really doing themselves a favor because they're keeping their employees up to date, which means better efficiency, better productivity. And then in the tight labor market we've got now, we know that one of the best ways of retaining employees is to invest in them. People really want to feel like their companies are keeping their own skills up to date. And this is one of the best ways of retaining and even attracting employees. The program has been an incredible success. Through this private, government, and customized education partnership, the community came together and created a proven model that can be replicated in other rural communities. And because none of us had all the pieces, none of us had all the resources, um, and none of us had all the expertise. And we brought it all together and everybody showed up, everybody showed up with their expertise, their resources, we all rolled up our sleeves, we dug in, and we created something that I, I think will have a lasting impact in this community. Um, but all of that was made possible by everybody working together in good faith and, and just making it happen.